It's now been four months since St. Louis County Detective Antonio Valentine was killed in the line of duty. And tonight, community members are helping his family by dining out to raise money for his four children. Fox 2's Stephanie Rothman joins us live in Ellisville. Stephanie. Well, a lot of people have been pouring into places like this pasta house, whether they're dining in or people who are picking up. This area was packed and every little bit helps because four children are now left without their father. Diners sit down to eat, but on Tuesday, their meal is worth so much more. I'm just grateful that the money's gone to a good cause and that there's no greater cause. Law enforcement and everyday citizens grab a meal at more than 30 restaurants in the St. Louis region, giving back to the family of a fallen St. Louis County police officer by donating a portion of their proceeds to help them in their time of need. He was a hero. He was a hero. They should be proud of him. Back on December 1st, 2021, Detective Valentine was killed in a head-on collision while conducting a drug investigation in Bell Fountain neighbors. Detectives attempted to stop the suspect, but he rammed his vehicle into Valentine's car. Valentine was rushed to the hospital. He later died from his injuries. He leaves behind four children, ranging in age from 10 to 22. Hopefully as a community, we're going to rally around these children and let them know that dad didn't die in vain, that, you know, we're here to support them and, and we're going to help them out with those things that dad could have done. Restaurants such as Sharpshooters Pit and Grill Barbecue, Cybergs, and Pasta House donating upwards of 30% dine in or take out directly to his kids. One of his sons is in college and so needs a car. We have another one that is looking at going away to college and, and in the future for that. And so, of course, there are needs that are based on, you know, different fees and different things that come up when we go away to college. And then he has two other younger children. The money will help with whatever they need. And hopefully these kids realize that, you know, through the darkness of what they're experiencing now, there is some light at the end of the tunnel. The event was one day only, but if you missed out and you would like to help, there is a police organization that is going to help distribute the money. They're called Need of Aid. We have all their information on our website. That's fox2now.com. Reporting in Ellisville, Stephanie Rothman, Fox 2 News.